Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the fourth episode from The Mandalorian Season 3. Already the fourth one, so uh, it's going pretty fast. Before I start, I want to tell you that you can see my full reactions to The Mandalorian episodes. You can find them on my Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also get early access to my reactions there. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, check out my Patreon. The previous episode was a pretty long episode, but it also had a completely different storyline. I personally thought it was pretty interesting, even though I had hoped to see more of the Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, and Bo-Katan, our queen of course. But I did think the storyline was interesting and I did read some theories uh, that this storyline is leading up to the creation of Snoke. I didn't even think about it like that but of course this guy uh, he's doing research about cloning and yeah that could all lead up to the creation of Snoke and I was like okay that makes sense i guess so that could mean that it is a pretty like important storyline i don't know if it is like really necessary but it could be interesting i think i did see that a lot of people really hated on the last episode though it had a way lower rating than the other ones and people were pretty mad that we didn't see more of din and grogu and bo -Katan and just like almost an hour long this random ass guy which i get i mean if you weren't waiting for that at all i get it but i'm like uh, there isn't like much of a story into it right now uh, So I was kind of hoping that this was building up to a bigger storyline in the Mandalorian But yeah, I have no idea where this is gonna lead up to but uh, yeah Well, I guess we'll find out by watching the rest of the season of course So yeah, I saw that this was a really short episode that came out today It's less than half an hour if you take the credits off uh, So I really hope that in that half hour we will just see Din, Grogu and Bo-Katan um, and no random other storylines. I mean, if the episode was longer, I think I would be fine with that. But it's only half an hour, so give me our child, please. <laughs> so yeah, with that said, let's just check out this episode. Intense music playing. I love subtitles. Oh, we're back here. Oh, they're training. I really thought they were another fight or something. Oh, I love Bogotan. I've been on Bogotan TikTok for the past week. The tiny Mandalorians are so funny to me. It's pretty cute. Oh, that is the cutest one. <laughs> I missed him. There comes Dad. Oh, he's so cute. He's not eating that, is he? Okay, no, he's playing. It's time that you learn with the other families. <laughs> You're gonna be a Mandalorian. Time's over. The way he reaches out for him. Mm. Also, that didn't really look like regular rocks to me, but okay. Next challenger. <laughs> I love that my cat meowed when he said, next challenger. He's ready to be the next challenger. Winner. Oh, but he's scared. He is ever to rise from family to apprentice. He must learn. He's a baby. A very old baby, but he's a baby. He is too small. <laughs> I am his ward. You can't discriminate by size. The As Yoda start. once said. Why doesn't he wear a helmet? He is too young to speak the creed, and so too young to wear. Oh, so the reason he's not wearing a helmet is because he can't talk yet. One does not speak unless one knows. Perhaps this lesson is for you then. The training cards. Take that. Fighters, arm yourselves. Oh, look at him! My dad was the same way. He's just proud of you. That is so adorable. He is just proud of you. You may fire the darts in any order. One round. I love how he's like. Wins. Squeeze your fist to launch the darts. He doesn't know how to fire darts. I don't think he knows much. I don't know Ready? why Din is doing this. Point. <laughs> Point. Give him some slack. Cut him some slack? What's the what sentence? Show them. Oh, now he's gonna use the force. Fuck. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Three points! Winner! There you go. Did you teach him that? Not me. That was Luke. He's so humble about Good it. Job, Daddy, did I do well? Droga? Is that the thing that followed them from there? Oh no, that's a bigger one. Those bees are really just out there to take random Mandalorians, right? He was just like, yes, I want this one, and then he took his. I'm out of fuel. 
It always gets away. Oh. Then you didn't have a lot of fuel. Is that Bogota? The foundling. I think this episode is gonna be about getting the boy back. If we use jetpacks, the beast will hear. It would kill the child. I mean, what does he want to do with the child in the first place? If he wants to eat him, then he's also going to kill him, so... I think you should just hurry up. He is so small. Look at his little legs, just like, try to walk faster. I really want to see him with a Mandalorian helmet one day, please. Are the ears going to stick out? That would be so cute. Ourselves. <laughs> Why does he look so scared? What is wrong? Oh no, my heart can't take this. Oh no, PTSD is getting the best of him. No, babe. I always forget how traumatized yeah. this child is. Go. Oh. oh, you can see that he's like younger there. Oh. <laughs> Everything's gonna be alright, kid. Oh, baby. Uh, too many. So, is he the one who got him out of there? I love that you can see in his face that he's younger. It's like a little smaller. Ears are a little smaller as well, I think. Aw, he's scared. Jeez. Oh, nice. <laughs> Immediately closes the thing again. I thought they were safe for a second. Well, eventually all the Jedi were killed, so it's not like this guy was gonna be safe anyway. Oh, you can see that he's wearing the armor. That's so cute. I feel so bad for him. Little traumatized baby. It is a tradition in our culture for each to donate. Small portion of what they earn to the family. Aww. I forged your next He's getting a next piece of armor. What is it? Mandalorian steel shall keep you safe as you grow stronger. As you grow into your station. Foundling Grogu. <laughs> I can't get over how cute he is. I, I feel like my Mandalorian reactions are just me making sounds because Grogu is so cute. We'll continue on foot from here. It's just every time I see bo I'm just like, yes, slay girl. Also, what was so funny to me is in the second episode when she was like constantly sitting on the throne and in the first at the end. And I was like, just yesterday or a few days ago, I was thinking like, what does she even do there? Does she just sit on that throne all day waiting for someone to show up? And then while I was thinking about it, I opened TikTok like I think an hour later. And then I was scrolling and I saw all these memes about bo just sitting on the throne all day. It was, yeah, so I wasn't the only one who was thinking that. My cat is watching the Mandalorian too. Oh, it's so cute. He's just like there. Just looking like that doing this with the pot he's baking. You go off to find a place where you can take off your helmet. You are the leader of the war party. It is so wild to me that they just all go to eat separately so they can take off the helmets. I think being a Mandalorian is cool and all, but I don't know if I could like keep on my helmet forever. All this because that dragon took a random child. Like I get that they want to save the child, but like I mean, I don't get why he took the child. Was it just random, just for fun? Or is he just collecting Mandalorians? You would think that beasts like that have really good hearing, right? Oh, there's already a helmet there. I think he's really making a collection. I see a heat 
resource there. Until we clear the area. He's my son. Oh. Ragnar. Ragnar. He's called Ragnar. Ragnar. Dude, you're. Oh. Yeah, and that's the beast son. <gasps> no, fuck. Oh. <gasps> Get him. No. Dude. Now don't you die, because then it would have been kind of for nothing. I mean, if at least you got the boy back, but if so many other people have to die for it... Ooh, he's roasting him. Oh fuck. Uh, okay, let's go, queen. Honestly, it's kind of a coincidence that it took at least a day for them to get there, or like a full night at least. And then the moment they arrive there, the beast is about to feed the kid to the baby. You think he would have done that earlier, but sure. I just hope they all survive. Ah, kid doesn't have a jetpack yet, right? No. Oh, and now the other beast takes that one. Nice. What about the babies, though? I'm okay, Dad. Thank you. This is the way. <laughs> Chills. If they're smart, they should just kill the babies too. Because they're gonna grow up to be the exact same thing and they're gonna kidnap more Mandalorians. But yeah, I don't think they would do that. <laughs> ah, The way he instantly reaches for his son. You have done the highest honor of the creed, saving a family. This is the way. Damn. This is the way. We have brought you three more families in need of care and training. Oh. Is that so? Um, I mean, sure, if you can train them, that would be even better than just killing them, I guess. They're already really big, but I mean, they're still babies for their kind, so... Also, I love how bo Tan just, like, accidentally keeps doing good stuff for them. And at first she was like, I don't live by those ways, you know? Would it be acceptable? And another with the mythosaur. What would you say if I told you I saw one? A mythosaur. I would say you are very lucky. Is that why she was asking if... No. I mean a real one. Beneath the living waters. Yeah. That's why she asked Din if, if he saw anything alive. So she was the only one who saw it then, because Din said he didn't see anything. I knew there was more to that. Oh my god, this, this picture, Grogu looks so big. <laughs> Oh, I always love the pictures at the end. Also, I, I, I don't think I've said it yet, but you've probably seen it. I love my new Mandalorian vest. It's so cool. Okay, but that was the episode. I gotta say I really liked it. Yeah. I'm sad it was kind of short because it was over, like... I felt like I started it and then it was over instantly. But it had some really cool mo moments. Uh, I like to see more of them, uh, like, being with that group of Mandalorians and... Um, the fight Grogu with Grogu was very cute. Like I knew in the end he would just use the force. It's like, it's kind of predictable, but it's still, it's so cute every time he does it. And yeah, it was nice to see them all work together to get the foundling back. But I think what I thought was mostly very cool about this episode was the flashbacks. Like I felt so bad for Grogu. Like for some reason I always forget that he's a traumatized bitch. But uh, <laughs> when we got those flashbacks, I mean, we saw the sad face. I was like, he really doesn't deserve this. It's so sad. And then it was pretty nice to see some of the flashbacks again of what happened back then. Honestly, I feel like it's so long ago that we saw anything about that. I just that I just kind of forgot about it. But it was interesting to see more. Yeah, I honestly feel like there's not a lot more to say because it was a rather short episode. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. And like I said, if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. And uh, did you like this reaction? Then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I really hope to see you next week. Bye!